forge through it. I don't think we and Rush have anything to worry about except boss, boss fights that might, might well be possible. <laughs> Okay, well then, hold on. Someone's screen share. Um, I know, you, I know you can like click on one and just make it be kind of full screen ish, but that's about it. Yeah, well, I guess in this situation, when we're doing the scale up by power of two function, um, okay, what's the one where it does an int to a short? No, that's just typecasting. Shit. Oh yeah, I guess I'll have to refine the example I was thinking of. Maybe I was just thinking of something wrong. That's weird. Santa too hard on that one. Have you seen this website? Yeah, I'll show you a link to something you can call. I don't know if you Which one is it? The, the Deacon got me one? Yeah. You see my screen? Yeah. So, basically how it works is you feed it target assembly instructions, right? So you, you give it the assembly from the game, like instructions. Mm -hmm which I have to do a bit of finagling to actually get, because if we look at Ghidra, um, you'll notice that the assembly starts having what we've named stuff, right? Which is kind of problematic. Really? So what I end up having to do is actually select the function and then export it as a binary, uh, yeah. binary, you know? And then, then from there, I can use a command line script to de disassemble that binary. Take this. I'll put it. Made a test. Then I can use a disassembler that comes with GNU to disassemble it. And then see here's our disassembled code. It's the same exact Things you can see over here, except now it's replaced. It's actually put the registers yeah. back and stuff. Um, and here we'll actually use this as an example because the, you know haven't done this one yet, so why not? Um, there is one formatting quirk that's a little bit annoying, and that's that's that it expects uh, dollar signs before everything.